Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between the London Black Knights and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C. That's where the home of the Washington Redskins resides. FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the London Black Knights and the Washington Redskins. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Gets fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. The first carry now. This is Johnson. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. It's caught. On the toss, here's Johnson. And he's going to be stopped up quick. The field, and when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And they're going to... The first down carry here for Johnson. Here's Stafford. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Heading games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker, can they cap it off by putting the ball and you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. Advantages when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Throwing again on sec. Funny looking at our spot charts up here in the booth because with all the guys that might play in this one, it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, we pretty much supersize them, don't we? Because, you know, remember, they're carrying 90 now. And play with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first down. That's what the coaching staff did. Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty near in sync, as we're seeing so far, where that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers. You're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Action now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you get one to mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Darius Geis, his first carry of the game. And he'll get a couple here down to give him a running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. 
They'll try and get it with Geis. And Geis is going to be the Redskins in possession of the football as they've got it with fourth down and one. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to possession. Switches hands. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Open man is Galladay complete. And they get him down, but not with another first and ten. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll be taken down across the on the move on first down. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. This is the blocking assignments. It does allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. From the 16, Stafford nowhere. To... They're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they... And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Extra point good by Prater. And... After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. And he has absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Tannehill. Time of year, you've got to get your back up some reps and make sure you protect your starting quarterback. To throw is Tannehill. And he finds McClellan. Confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. On first and ten, Tannehill. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. So now, and Charles, they told us offense in the red zone was a focus this week in practice. A huge priority, and the key was to get points, so you know that all the time during the week was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This is Geis. And here he'll get it down to the second. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Now he fights his way into the end zone for a Redskin touchdown. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. Seven. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it was all capped by Bryce Love's touchdown run. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard. Thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for heaven. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. The well, second book's probably installed. How well are they handling it? Easy in and out of the huddle? No mental mistakes? Are they starting to look like a good offensive football? I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. <laughs> On first down, it's Stafford. And that'll walk back and through one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. He'll get this one to Galladay. And they're going to... Now a first down throw, Stafford. And that is incomplete. A little bit, they huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. They try to throw on second down. Number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Stafford. And he finds a man with a crossing route. On first down, Stafford here. This into the hands of Marvin Hall, complete. Eddie, it's first and goal. Stafford now to throw. 
And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. J.D. McKissick ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. Beavers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no one does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make it? On the 31. Let's go one more. Tannehill. That's complete to his receiver. Hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Under pressure, and he's good. Number one. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Expect to see a good number of backups going forward as we are back and underway here in preseason week two. That'll be taken in the end zone. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the works. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Haskins will throw. And that is incomplete. Incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Haskins. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. Maybe just say to yourself, let's take a shot, see if we can shake them up. And boy, they hit that one. On first down, it's Haskins. Taken in by Sprinkle, a little pitch and catch. At first down pass play, second and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Looking for a seam, but finding even with a third and about three to go. It'll be love to try and get the first. And they're going to mark him down short. Mattis will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. A whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll have it packed. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ready? They'll run with McKissick. Call it a gain. Second and six. James has got it. Complete. The balls we just saw there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he will take it in for the touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Yeah, but we need to get some rest sometime. Extra point good by Prater. And that makes it a 21-10 game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taking about seven yards to take over here. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Running to start the drive is Love. And he'll get this from the 25. A very solid gain on that play. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Second down, Haskins over the mess. So not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those. Team pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Love again. And he's going to get this in. That's often the end result. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down here. I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. On second down now. It's Love. And he'll get it down this time. Maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And that would not. Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it in. Touchdown. Here are the Redskins now. An important two-point conversion. He'll try and run it up the middle. But he will not get in here. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to... I'd love to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball hand. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Troy Lepke. And now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and run it up the middle. In a one-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. This one complete to Lacey. Quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move that was presentable for the quarterback, that's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Now this one complete downfield on the left. This drive, it's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Nowhere to escape. Reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and it is locked people. That means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now me. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away. Right back to him on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 30. Here we go, D. All day, D. On first and 10, it's Haskins. This pass complete to Higgins. And he'll be taken down. Low to try to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass in. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second. This is caught inside the 15. Just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, uh, being a fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. Turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. The only one's going down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. 31, <laughs> second and four. Escape and he goes down. Flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Dancing to nowhere to go here. He lost the football. 
up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did.